episode of The Fall Glove. I'm Eden, this is my dad Noah, and every week we sit on my bed and have a conversation about something we want to talk about. And this week, we're going to talk about our trip to Maine and what it was like. Yeah, so what was it like to get on an airplane and travel? It's been, been a little bit for you. It was nice because the plane was only an hour. <laughs> Right, that's true. So it was a quick trip. Yeah. And, and we also didn't stay very long, but yeah. also... It was less than 24 hours. Everything was on time. Amazing. Which is extremely yeah. helpful. So and Because we've been seeing a lot of things on the news about... Canceled flights. Right. So, and, and do you remember any of the, the tips that, that you see yeah. on the news about what to do these days in traveling? I would say this is the most important tip. And then I want to say something else that it's good to know. Okay. So the most important tip, I think is you should fly early. Because if you fly early, there are usually other options. If your flight gets delayed. Yeah. Right. Like, if let's say I'm flying at 6.30 in the morning, my flight gets canceled, I'll, you'll prob- I'll probably have other chances to get on the flight. Right, and Maybe also, the if it's early, then the chances of it getting canceled are less because, because it's the first flight and your plane is there. But also, it's because... It's good to fly early because you're kind of, you're almost guaranteed that it won't, that you'll have it. Sure, it's a much better Because chance. flight attendants, they can only fly like 13 hours, right? Yeah, you can, they, I think the staff can only work 12 to 16 hours yeah. a day. Yeah, and when it takes that, they're done. Mm-hmm. So. And it's not, and even if your flight gets delayed and that crew is still on the clock, that counts against the clock, and so it could just be, that's it. Could be a wrap. Yeah. All right, so, but everything was, I was actually surprised with how few people were actually wearing masks on the plane. Yeah. Both ways, to be honest. More so actually going yeah. to Maine and coming back, I saw, and it was a small plane, but I, I didn't see, I didn't see many masks. I was, I was, I was kind of surprised. I would say maybe like 2% were wearing masks. Two percent. How would you? How would you uh, figure? Two percent. Like ten people, basically. So uh, ten people. Okay. I don't know if they're about. Um. Okay. So if there if there were a hundred people on the plane, no, I didn't then were there were there two maybe two people wearing a mask? Well, that's impossible because the three of us were. So don't worry about the percentage yet. Were, but yes, there, there weren't. 30 times 4. What's that? Tell me about 30 times 4. 30 times 4, 120. Yeah, there, there were only 100, 100 people wearing masks. 100 people on there the were, flight wearing masks. There were 30 rows and 4 30. in each row. Okay. So. So if there were 100. I'd say about out, 20 were. 20 were. 20 were. So 20 out of 120 is 1 sixth. Okay. Yeah, 1 sixth. So then 1 sixth were right now. Okay. All right. And that, well, it's good to learn, it's good to do math in everyday situations like that. So 1, 6, 20 times 6, 120 divided by 20 is 6. Yeah, good. So what about being in Portland, Maine? I always like your perspective on different towns because living in New York City, everywhere else is is so different. Yeah. All right. So Portland, Maine, similar and different. To, to New York? To New York, yes. Okay, go ahead. Similar, because it's like a town. Like, there are lots of shops, and, like, things happen there. Restaurants. So you so, could say it would be like a, a neighborhood in New York. Yeah. But it's so different, because New York City, what do you think of? When you think of New York City? Massive buildings. And you think of, like, busy streets and lots of crowds and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's what I think of, at least. So, Portland, Maine, you don't see really any of that. And all the buildings in New York are so close together, and they're so tall and so many of them. But in Portland, Maine, it's small. There aren't too many tall bu- There aren't really tall buildings. Mm-hmm. There aren't... And, and you, it's not so busy everywhere. There are, it's and, a good amount of people, though. Yeah, but it's not like, oh, my God, I have to push over everybody. Right. It's a much different, it's yeah. a much more calm vibe. Right, mm-hmm. but also... And nice to have the water right there, too. Yeah, but it's just so much smaller, too. Yeah, and, and look, every every town's going to be smaller, but I, I, it's, a, it's a small city. But I liked, I really enjoyed 
walking around, I hadn't been there since 2005 in Portland, Maine. And at that time, I wasn't really walking around taking in the sights. I remember like saving a lot of money and <laughs> to have a lobster roll on that trip. But it was different this time because it seemed like it was a lot more built up. It seemed like a lot more people had come to Portland maybe even during the pandemic and said, Oh, we like it here. Let's let's yeah. let's stay here. Everyone was really, really nice. Um I found it pretty a, a pretty relaxed, laid back place also. Yeah, I think I could have spent I could have spent uh, a week there. Yeah. Or at least oh maybe a week in Maine. In Maine. So some time in Portland, like like we did last summer in Burlington, Vermont. Like, stayed in Burlington, but then drove around. Yeah. 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 Because I hadn't been, I'd been up to Orono, Maine, before I went to college to go to the University of Maine for, for your Boston University hockey games. But I hadn't, I hadn't really spent a whole lot of time in Portland. Yeah. Is that, did you, did you like the, the vibe there? I liked it because it was much calmer than New York City. Mm-hmm. And there were less people. But, and it was really nice on the water, but I like New York City, too. Yeah. All right, so what about the, so we flew out of LaGuardia. I had not been in the, I've been a lot of times in the new American Airlines terminal. I had not been in, in the new Delta terminal. What did you think? It was very nice. What about it? So clean, very bright. Mm-hmm. Like, one, and there, it's, there are nice pictures, and one thing is on top of what was it like the kiosk? How it had those rotating screens? Yeah, it was on top of the kiosk. Uh, on top of like where you would like check that. in, yeah, yeah, where you yeah. check in, kind of like the kiosk. Well, the kiosks are say here, and then the desk, the check in here, and then yeah. baggage goes behind, so it's above that. Yeah. So there were these nice rotating screens, and there were like leaves and like blocks, like squares, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I really liked all the different really art installations that they had there, too. Things that made you feel welcomed and it, you didn't feel like it was dirty and it was modern and I felt like it was well thought out and the the walkways were, were wide and everything was yeah. white and bright and tons of windows and tons of natural light. Yeah. I mean, it really, really makes it, it really makes a difference. Nice seats, yeah. Yeah, nice seats. A lot, a lot, of, a lot of food options. Yeah. Nice food options. And in yeah. Portland, there was a great restaurant there. In the airport. Well, so how crazy was that? So in the Portland airport, it was basically like the length of, I don't know, like 10 gates in LaGuardia. Yeah. So it wasn't that wasn't that big. It wasn't tiny, but it's a mid-sized airport. But they had two restaurants in there. One. No, three. Three? Two restaurants, three places to eat. Okay. Well, one, the kitchen was closed. It was 6 o'clock. And the other place was out of pretty much everything. But they said they had, like, famous lobster rolls. Now, I'm always skeptical of something in an airport. But this lobster roll, what was it, Linda's Beans or Linda Beans? Yeah, Linda Beans. Linda's in the airport in Portland, Maine. I thought it was a, I thought it was better it was really than... Good. Portland Lobster Company, which was on the water and which was also a good lobster roll. I agree with you. It was so good. The thing was, it was it was big. It was just lobster meat. There was no we asked for no uh, mayonnaise on it. Uh, it was uh, like an A plus, best best thing I've ever eaten in an airport. And if you go to Portland, Maine, I would recommend eating your first lobster roll right there in the airport when you get off the plane. Just yeah. go to Linda's. Get the the medium. I thought that was the probably the best deal. Was was the medium lobster roll? It was really good. Mm, and what was great about it was it's like a bigger hot dog bun. I would say. Yeah, it's a nice nice size roll. Yeah. There's so much clammy in it. It's so good. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it, it was delicious. I would go. I would spend more time in Maine. Yeah, M- maybe not necessarily Portland, Maine. Yeah, I'd stop there. I'd eat a little yeah. bit more. Oh, good place. Eat good breakfast. Oh, also in the airport they have a good um, quesadilla too at that place. <laughs> but how about the breakfast? Hot supper, S U P P A. Yeah, really I fresh. I had great eggs there. Yeah, well, what were on your eggs? So my 
egg was the um, I think it was like the summer summer scramble. Yes, summer scramble. I wasn't there when you ordered, but it's summer scramble. Yeah, okay. and there was an eggplant and zucchini and fresh mozzarella, tomatoes, and some really herby basil. Pesto. Hey, pesto basil. Yeah, Her- it was a very f- herb forward. Yeah, pesto. and there were even Delicious. on top there were little diced up um. Uh, basil. Piece top. of basil. Oh, nice. It's really good. But they, they were like no, they were diced up like oh. like like Chum. maybe like that. Awesome. Small. And I had mom and I both had that mushroom scramble. With the yeah. these uh, a wide variety of local mushrooms were great, and the biscuit was great with the the fresh blueberry yeah, the jam. Yeah, biscuit was really good. Yeah, so we we did a, we did a lot of uh, eating and seeing in twenty four hours. It was good. I, I like. The, the New England feel yeah. is nice in the summer. It gets so no, cold in the winter. And so it's snowy. So cold. Like, I would in say the summer, fun. it's so great. They, in, I would say in the winter, in general, like the whole winter, all of New England gets four, eight feet of snow or more. Probably more. Yeah, maybe 20 <laughs> feet. You and just making up numbers? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, I love you. Love you.